July 14th, Suffering Afflictions and Going the Second Mile I tell you not to resist an evil person, but whoever slaps you on your right cheek, turn to him the other also. Matthew 5, verse 39 This verse reveals the humiliation of being a Christian. In the natural realm, if a person does not hit back, it is because he is a coward. But in the spiritual realm, it is the very evidence of the Son of God in him if he does not hit back. When you are insulted, you must not only not resent it, but you must make it an opportunity to exhibit the Son of God in your life. And you cannot imitate the nature of Jesus. It is either in you or it is not. A personal insult becomes an opportunity for a saint to reveal the incredible sweetness of the Lord Jesus. The teaching of the Sermon on the Mount is not, do your duty, but is, in effect, do what is not your duty. It is not your duty to go the second mile or to turn the other cheek. But Jesus said that if we are his disciples, we will always do these things. We will not say, oh, well, I just can't do any more, and I've been so misrepresented and misunderstood. Every time I insist on having my own rights, I hurt the Son of God, while, in fact, I can prevent Jesus from being hurt, if I will take the blow myself. That is the real meaning of filling up in my flesh what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ. Colossians 1, verse 24. A disciple realizes that it is his Lord's honor that is at stake in his life, not his own honor. Never look for righteousness in the other person, but never cease to be righteous yourself. We are always looking for justice, yet the essence of the teaching of the Sermon on the Mount is never look for justice, but never cease to give it.